Welcome to the part 2 of Let's Make a Racing Game on Unreal Engine 5. In this tutorial, I will make a spline actor that will cover the entire road and I will show you how to move a location along spline by using distance manipulation. At the end of the tutorial, our car AI will drive and move the target location forward but in one condition that it has to follow along the spline. So let's get started. We have our speed limiter. We need actually the target location because the car doesn't know where to go. It's just going forward and then crashing onto wall. So let's give it some coordinates to where it should be heading. To give it a coordinates, we need to make a spline. A spline that is going along the roads and then it will end in here. So it does know where to go next point to next point and actually maneuver around this row. Spline is the best option. Let's create a spline from blueprint class. Select actor. Let's call it uh, road road spline spline road, road spline. Okay, that's enough. And then what we do here is add a spline. Spline is a component and you should select it and you have a spline. So this is the spline. So how the spline work is they, it has a bunch of points and these points can be controlled and you can actually extend this point uh, let's say you want to in extend it to another point so you just click it in the middle and then alteral and mouse click and then drag and you have another point so this is how you actually extend it and if you drag this thing road spline in the middle of the road let's say we'll start from here let's just drag it up just ultra click and move let's just extend it to the end of the road to actually uh, wrap around all, all of this road you will have to just do the same thing over and over again okay now that we have finished our spline so let's just uh, make a reference to our spline otherwise we won't be able to get the spline component inside our AI car so target location will be with the spline let's just bring the spline to a variable let's create a variable and let's call it road spline spline and we need to find the spline, uh, road spline class. Road spline. Okay, I forgot to type around. Okay, I found it. Road spline. And let's just take it out. Let's take it out. Get the spline. And then we convert to validated gate. So this will allow us to get the spline component and make it to a variable. So get spline. We got the spline from the component of that actor and now we'll promote to a variable so we can use it anytime we want so this is the easy way now that we have what we need it's time to get the location spline location just take out the get spline and then get location location to get location at distance along spline First, we need to change the coordinate space to world and then from return value we promote this to a variable and let's call it target location. Location. So this will be our target that's why I named it to target location but we need to check what's the location currently at. Uh, draw debug, debug sphere and uh, it will be 500 I guess and let's duration to 0.2 and the color now that we have our color and we need to connect the target location to center I guess so this will draw a circle around the location it is currently in and the get location at distance along spline it is currently set at zero so if we hit play and check as you can see it is at the start of the spline 
and this is the start of the spline as you can see if you click it this is the start and it goes all along the road and then it ends in here so this is the end point so this is the start location so we need to increase this distance so if we uh, increase the distance we actually travel along this spline let's say we increase it to 200 and let's see how it happens as you can see it is a bit forward I guess not quite not, not let's just change it to 20,000 maybe 20,000 yeah and let's hit play as you can see it is on it is on right quite far away from the start let's go there and fight so this is a this is a along spline distance so we need to set this value in a way that it increases uh, with the car moving forward change it back to zero and then promote this thing to a variable and call it spline distance you can mention road spline distance road branch and let's bring a branch let's compare the distance because we already got the target location right let's just get the target location and compare the distance I guess uh, distance with our own location that is AI car so if you just get actual location actual location as you can see we have self target self as target that means this is our location so let's connect it and let's calculate our distance and let's say that our distance between the current I guess target location the distance is currently at zero I guess so the it is uh, at the start start location so if it is give it a random value 1200 I guess so at a distance of 1200 it is quite close and if it is less than this value set the spline distance and then get the spline distance and add some value and I guess 1200 is not that bad so if we add this value and we connect it we connect it we need to see the debug again I guess so let's see what happens we are increasing uh, every frames per second but the condition is it has to come very close so let's see how it goes yes the distance is increasing successfully with the car moving along the spline but the car is not following the roads as a result the target is not moving forward so when the car is out of range the target stays the last location and that mean it is currently false even though it is updating every frames per second the false value will do nothing we can collapse this thing and collapse it to macro and call it if car is too close too close I guess so if the car is too close I guess that's the condition so if it is too close then yes increase the distance and change the target location of course and but if it is not doing that then nothing happens it just stays the last location it actually showed next we have to do is uh, I guess we have to set the steer so let's find the steer uh, steer so let's steer unfortunately we had to stop the tutorial right here and on the next episode our AI car will be able to perform steering and also it will follow the target location please comment share subscribe and hit the bell icon also follow me on Twitter and you can email me anytime uh, until then goodbye peace Allah Hafiz